Hello there, John McCoy here from your Washington State Legislature. As you know, I'm sharing these TV updates while we're in session in Olympia. It's an honor to represent the citizens of Tulalip, Marysville, and Everett. Our work in the House and the Senate cleared a key cutoff deadline last week. Non-physical and other budget-related bills faced extinction if they didn't win committee approval in what's called their Chamber of Origin. The Chamber of Origin is simply the place, the House of Representatives or the Senate, in which a bill is first introduced. We're not quite to the halfway mark yet in this year's 105-day legislative session. I'll keep you posted in the weeks ahead as we plunge into the real nitty-gritty of this Olympia business. My 38th Legislative District colleagues and I are looking forward to hosting another telephone forum in a few weeks. Representative Mike Sell, Senator Nick Harper, and I all hope that as many of you as possible can join the phone conversation early in the evening of April 3rd. The way this teleform works is that telephone calls go out to citizens a few minutes before 6 o'clock that night. People are encouraged to stay on the line and listen, and as many folks as time permits get a chance to share their questions and comments with us. We'll send more details to get the word out on this teleform in a few weeks. Today, I want to invest some most of my legislative update on an issue that's near and dear to my heart for a good many years. Support for our troops. My foundation, plain and simple, is that support our troops must be more than a bumper sticker. Much, much more. I'm talking about our duty to honor the rights and interests of men and women who have honored the call of duty to their country. Two of the bills that I am prime sponsoring are, in my opinion, practically important for servicemen and women. Having both cleared their standing committee, these two bills are waiting for floor action before the entire House of Representatives. House Bill 1858 says that colleges and universities must provide academic credit for military training. House Bill 1859 says that military training and experience must count towards requirements for professional licensing in many fields. The objectives in these proposals received a great deal of support the other day from First Lady Michelle Obama and Dr. Jill Biden, the Vice President's wife. The First Lady and Dr. Biden each addressed a recent meeting of the National Governors Association. They emphasize that active duty service folks and veterans should be credited for the experience and training they have received while serving our country. It's a goal we all can share. Men and women who put themselves in harm's way for our nation have earned and deserve our respect and support. It's that simple, and yes, it's that important. Now, please remember that my legislative assistant, Brooke Waite, and I always look forward to hearing from you. Your comments help me do a better job representing our region and the state capitol. Let me say just once more that I do appreciate your tuning in to these legislative reports. I'm John McCoy, and you'll be seeing me here again soon. Best wishes to you and yours.